soon as I have a weapon, I'm gonna destroy these jets! Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Life support is back online. Environment check. Temperatures are within. I'm gonna kill these jets! I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Just in time. Ought to have given us another day at most. No thanks to Rana's jabs. If the cat can't handle being called mildly insulting things, that's on them, not me. You see what I mean? We owe you. How'd you find us anyway? Your nephew, Skiat, was trying to get you rescued. Good boy. He's got potential, Nilt. As so I've said before, the resistance needs to be debriefed. We'll head back to base as soon as possible. What about the data drive? We have to deliver it to Buxel so she can start the analysis. Interesting. It seems we have to depend on our rescuer for more than a rescue. Can you deliver this drive to Tedjiks? If we work together, no time will be wasted. What's in the drive? A ket code we stole while trying to infiltrate their command center. The cat never realized how much we downloaded off their network.
I'll go there as soon as I can. Perfect. Buxdale will be in her workshop. I hope we meet again. Under better circumstances. Jal, we liberated a group of resistance fighters. Leaders called Nilge. Could use a pickup at my location. They're on their way. This is big. Liberating key resistance agents and recovering information they stole from the Ket. You've put many doubts about you to rest, Ryder. Even Ephra must now be convinced of your intentions. What about the data drive Nilge entrusted to us? Good point. If you prefer, you could go to Tetchix now and speak to Ephra later. The choice is yours. I think speaking to Ephra is more important. I can't access Aya's vault without his help. All right. The shuttle Commander Dozil is sending can take us back to the base. Jal says Ephra is waiting for your call, Pathfinder. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Gil, O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil, I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It, it's been amazing. Angaran expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. I take it you work closely with the Nexus Science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the Geths. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The Initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. FTL sensor? So a faster-than-light telescope? They could survey Andromeda as it was? Not exactly, but it cut down the lag by... enough. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. 
there's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids find Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, they were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist, an inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. Sounds good. <laughs>